today we are in the Netherlands and we are in a very very small home but everything is left abandoned inside. It's so hard to believe that this place is actually abandoned. I mean at first glance it looks so untouched from the inside and when we entered we were literally crowded with cobwebs in our face yeah. and then we knew this place is abandoned and a true gemstone. Yeah we did some research and actually the man who lived over here his name was Willem and this woman's name was Gerry. And what actually happened to them is in 2010, Willem passed away. And then three years later, in 2013, Gary passed away. Eventually, I think she spent her last days in a nursing home. And the house has been unloved ever since. Yeah, since 2014. So we're going to document it for you. And I hope you enjoy the video. So we start off over here in the corner. We immediately see a beautiful piece of taxidermy. I mean, have a look here. Is this actually, what, what bird do you think this is? Yeah, it looks like an owl, but I don't know. It looks pretty aggressive for an owl. It's, it's like a mix between an owl and an eagle yeah, or something. something like that, indeed. Anyways, we have seen these cups before, but still, from the day of today, I don't know the exact purpose. No, no. It looks like no cans, isn't it? I don't know. Anyways, I really want to see actually what's inside this cabinet. Completely covered with gold webs right now. Oh, some CDs and DVDs. Oh, James Bond. James Bond. From 1971 till 1962. <laughs> some James Bond classics never get old. So over here they had the television, and I really like the design of this chair. It's quite unique. Also the set of crystallized glasswork. Very beautiful. And then right next to it in front of the window, you can tell that all of these plants haven't been watered for a while. They're completely dry and barren. Oh, there's also an oil lamp over there. Also a chair in a similar design. And there is a secretary desk here. Have a look. A lot of paperwork. A lot of receipts as well. Some keys. And I absolutely love this over here. So there is an old picture. I think it was the father and mother. Of Gary or respectively Willem. Very antique items here. On top of the secretary desk. I also love the clock. Have a look at its design. And then the rest of the living room. Over here a tiny elephant. Some candles. Also have a look at this lamp. It was plugged in here. And this is actually a strange lamp to have inside of your home. You would more likely expect it in a garden or somewhere. painting on the wall and this was their sitting corner well a telephone but then right behind it something really unique have a look on this scale with all the weights this is absolutely beautiful I think this is one of the most unique skills I've seen wow also these little iron figurines, the ducks and some rocks, they were definitely also collectors and they loved antique furniture. Anyways over here, a typical French design of the lamp, I've never seen a lamp like this in an abandoned home in the Netherlands and this is by far one of the most untouched houses We've seen in the Netherlands too. Then the, those were the remote controls, just some paperwork. Not gonna go into detail. There, the stove. My grandmother used to have a similar stove like that. This is a very German style in my opinion. I love the wooden cabinet. Pretty tall one as well. Collection of plates. Another picture of the father and mother of the diseased people who lived there. Wow, some typical Dutch plates. It 
so hard to believe that this place is left unloved. I mean, literally every single thing is left behind. Every little single item. Oh my gosh, another large collection of glasses and plates. Oh, this was actually for mustard, that is saying. Well, anyways, if nobody believes yet that this place is abandoned, over here are some tools for the stove and then over here you can tell the amount of cobwebs all the way going through here some pots so many detailed ornaments in just one tiny simple home but all these ornaments together make this actually a very cozy place a very homely looking house Right over here was actually their kitchen. <laughs> Those are actually all boxes of ice and I think they use them just to preserve some food and put it in the freezer. All the sets of china look very cute. Anyways, this kitchen gives such a warm feeling with all the wooden things. I really like this kitchen. And at first glance you would definitely not say it is abandoned. No. But if you could feel what we are feeling at the moment, I mean it's hard to see on the camera as well, but there's all these tiny cobwebs in between everything. Indeed. And we like the food on this table. <laughs> I buy these nowadays in the store. Yeah, let's have a look at the expiry date. 2014. Alright, so 2014, so 2013, I think late 2013, Indeed. Harry departed this earth and eventually... It got abandoned. Yeah, and it was properly closed, that's why there's not many traces of dust as well, but you can tell. I want to show you some details, so for example over here are some cobwebs, some dirt, but also between the cups. I mean, the home is neglected for six years, but it is very well preserved. Yeah, definitely. I love all the small details. Chickens over there. Oh yeah, they're really nice. Also where, <laughs> what's this? This, this is uh, Schorsener. You know it? No, I never had it. No, Asperger. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> well aware. They were doing the dishes and then on top. Have a look plate over there, bottles of wine, another plate, this is a very traditional Dutch plate, this is a true gemstone for the Netherlands, I mean have a look here in the cabinet, all their products are left behind, many products I am still using nowadays myself, yeah. for example the kappa soup, this is actually also my favorite flavor. Choco paste. Yeah. Never finished. Yeah, wow, a lot of porcelain mugs. And the glasses as well. Everything is untouched and there is even no signs of robbery or something. Not even one. I don't know. I really don't understand how this place can be open. But it hasn't been robbed and there is also still a lot of valuables like jewelry and everything left. So crazy, so crazy. Well, there is one last thing. 
which is really crazy. Look over here. It doesn't seem like there is a, there is a refrigerator, right? Yeah, those are all different compartments. Oh, and this is the fridge. But it doesn't look like it. Yeah. Inside. Still some butter, some milk. Oh, you can tell this is no good anymore. No. Also the bottle of orange. 2012. Damn. And then if we close the fridge. Oh, all the cleaning products. Indeed. Unbelievable. Oh, also take a look at this orange juice. Completely a suspension. <laughs> Over here some nuts. You can still see that spider hair. And also at my leg right now, I'm just feeling cobwebs. Yeah, covered. Nobody has walked there during the years. We're the first right. urbexes to find this place. Also, and you guys on the camera. <laughs> <laughs> Already? Yeah. The cobwebs were hanging on the camera. Yeah. Damn, son. <laughs> Okay, so we continue our way from the kitchen and over here we can see the last date on the calendar. December 2013, January 2014. So we were right. 2014. Yeah, the end of 2013. And, wow, look, this one. It's so cool to find a clock like this in the Netherlands because most of the times you find them in France. Or Germany indeed. Anyways. Let's open this door. Yeah. This was a toilet, right? And the shower, also. Really? Yeah. But I haven't been here, so it's still completely covered. Oh yeah, I don't want to walk inside of here, I would just show it to you like this. Also the brewing products still left in the shower indeed. Anyways, this was a very tiny home and this was actually their hallway. Still a jacket over here. And this was their back door leading to the garden. And then, right over here, we have a small office and everything is left. Look. Oh yeah, this was a very tiny room. Indeed, plenty of paperwork left behind. Even <laughs> some Christmas balls. Yeah, this was definitely all that paperwork. What did you found? This is my childhood. Oh, <laughs> the go-go's. Yeah, those were actually like toys you could collect at a supermarket. Yeah, indeed. And when you had that many points, you could get a go-go. Yeah, true, true. <laughs> so, so yeah, good. I also played a lot with this yeah. toy. So this was all their paperwork, like you can see, and it's actually a lot. And over here, all their clothes are left unloved. There's two things I find sad to find in an abandoned place. Extremely sad. It is personal pictures and clothes. Because you wish they would have been donated for a good cause. Yeah, indeed. Or somebody did something with it. But then you have this washing table. But on top. Yeah, there's another piece of taxidermy. It's so strange. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's so bit... randomly allocated. And actually also some bandage over here. So yeah. Just a safety kit and the, the sink. But the purpose of this room is so diverse. They had all their paperwork, they had a sink, they also ironed their clothes here, they had their vacuum cleaner here, and they stored clothes here. So, yeah, a variety of purposes for only one very, very tiny room. And I saw a very, very cool detail is that the man worked as a train driver. Oh, really? Look. I haven't actually... Oh, no way! This is really special. So you see the sign over there. And this is actually the sign of the Dutch railways. And only employees have these cases. Yeah, you cannot buy these ones on the internet. So he was probably a train driver. That's very special. Oh well, yeah, a machinist, right? You say it like that. I don't know. Well, leave it down in the comment section if you know the exact name for it. Exactly. And there's also over here some watches left. And I think there used to be a ring inside of the box. Well, I first want to see the watch. Blue light. Water resist. I don't know the brand. Opel from the car. Oh, 
those are also actually old postal signs this was the former queen of the netherlands but right now we have king willem we don't have the queen anymore yeah. but she's still alive i wear a ring but there's nothing inside anymore no so i think some parts have been looted yeah maybe but minimally yeah, very, very very minimally, minimally. Okay, well, there were quite some surprises for only one single room, yeah. and we found out more about the life of Willem. All right, then this room. Yeah, we're going to the next room. And this was actually the couple's bedroom. Imagine, they would be sleeping in this bedroom every single night. It's still partly made up, I mean, the blanket and the pillows are there, but you can tell nobody is sleeping here anymore. Also a quite special vanity over here in the corner. And a home trainer. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, we found them a lot in abandoned places, but it has been a long time since yeah, we indeed, found one. Indeed, it was like the first explorers, we found them a lot. And oh, there's two living spiders over here, chilling. Well, I literally just felt spiders. Crawling. Yeah, they're literally everywhere here. Well, this was actually a rather plain room compared with the living room you already saw. Indeed. Over there in the corner they also had their sink. It's strange how they had a sink over here and a sink in the other room we just showed. Yeah, true, true. I mean, like, why? It would be. There's actually a picture. That looks like the UK. I don't know, I, I think it was like an orchestra or something. I'm not sh really sure about this, but maybe the man is in this picture, or maybe his son or daughter. So crazy how the towels are also still hanging up. I'm really curious if the water is still running. Nope, it's not functional anymore. That's also another sign why you can tell that this home is not inhabited anymore. No, indeed. And no electricity, we also checked that, so nothing. And then we end with the stuffed bird where we started with. Unbelievable. Actually never expected that one year ago we would be exploring in an abandoned house like this in the Netherlands. No, no, I would never expect it actually. I mean. It's so warm and cozy, everything is left behind. This is, this is just feel very special and really rare to find in the Netherlands. It feels so comfortable being inside of here, yeah, I mean. Indeed, indeed. Grandma's home. Yeah, really grandma vibes inside this place. And yeah, I think that's where we want to stop the video. Indeed, indeed. It was a very, very nice explorer actually. And yeah, I personally really enjoyed it, especially that it's in the Netherlands. It's, still unbelievable always special to find a house like this in the netherlands so if you guys enjoyed it as much as we did please hit that big blue thumbs up you can subscribe to our channel right down below and also leave a nice comment down below in the comment section big shout out to a friend who found the location you will find this link in the video description right down below and as always we want to thank you for watching and we will see you on our next adventure peace, peace out, out.